Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I will show you how to design this beautiful and animated PowerPoint title slide. My name is Victor and if you're ready, let's dive in. Open a new presentation. I have all design elements I'll need for this tutorial. You can use photos and icons directly from PowerPoint or download all the elements using the link in the description of this video. I'll start by copying and pasting this beautiful photo. I want it to cover the slide, so I'll go with the suggestion from Design Ideas. By the way, I have a video exclusively on PowerPoint Design Ideas. A link to that video should appear on top right now. Let's change the color of the photo to grayscale because I want to overlay a gradient background on it. Select the photo, click on picture format, open color, under recolor, select grayscale. Now I want to add gradient overlay on the photo. Let's go to insert, shapes and click on rectangle. I'll draw a rectangle to cover the photo. Remove its outline and open format shape to set the properties I need for my gradient background. In shape format pane, select gradient fill. I need two gradient stops for the two colors I want to use. So I'll delete the second and third gradient stops. Then I'll change the direction to linear right. Select the first stop and change its color to the fit color on my color palette. Orange color if you like. Select the second stop and change its color to the third color on the palette. Dark teal, that's the name of the color. I'll go ahead and increase the transparency for the first and second stops to about 34% and 31% respectively. Beautiful. The design is taking shape. Next, I'll copy and paste the title and subtitle. Then I'll bring the title to the center of the slide, change its color to white, font to robot to black, font size to 88 point. Then I'll resize and align it to middle and to center. I'll repeat the same process for the subtitle but with Laro as font type and font size to 28 points. Resize the shape so that the text appear on the same line. Apply bold to the words design and September 6 to 8 just to make them appear a little bit more legible. Move the subtitle under the main title and center align it. So far it's looking good but we can make it better. So let's bring in an icon, I'll copy and paste it, move it above the title, increase its size and change its color. Hmm, let's try a different color. That's not bad, but it's competing with the orange gradient. I'll choose another color. Now that's better. Talking about legibility, let's swap the position of the gradient stops and adjust them a little bit. 
I'm going to increase the angle to about 40% and drag the dark stop towards the center of the gradient stops. Let's change the color of the icon. That's better. A bit of shadow will add some depth to the icon and text. That's what I'm talking about. Now the titles look more realistic. Let's add animations to the icons and title text. If you're getting value from this tutorial, select the logo at the bottom right of this video and click on subscribe. To add animations, I'll click on animations tab, then on animation pane. Select the icon, click on animations tab, then on flying animation. I'll double click on the animation to open its dialog. I want the direction to be from bottom left, bounce in about 19 seconds, timing to start with previous and duration of 1 second. That's lovely. Next, I'll select the title text, select wipe animation and double click on it to open its dialog. For this animation, I want the direction to be from left, timing to start with previous, I'll leave delay at 0.5 seconds but set its duration to 1 second. And I'll click OK to confirm. To apply animation to the subtitle, I'll select the title, click on Animation Painter to copy its animation. Then I'll click on the subtitle to apply the animation. I'll delay the animation by 1 second so that it doesn't start the same time with the title. Let's preview the slide by clicking on Slideshow icon. Fantastic design ladies and gentlemen. If you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe and turn on your notification. I'll see you in the next one.